All right. The final play. How could the Cowboys allow the final 14 seconds to run off the clock in that playoff game against the 49ers? Okay, for starters, let's review the situation. The Cowboys had the ball at the San Francisco 41-yard line, trailing by six points. The Cowboys are out of timeouts. Field goal's not good enough here. They have to have a touchdown. Again, only 14 seconds remain. In a perfect world, the typical thought process in that situation would be for the Cowboys to try to throw short to medium passes along the sideline so as to be able to advance the ball while still getting out of bounds and stopping the clock. But the San Francisco defense knew this and consequently was intent upon guarding the sideline. So then, maybe the Cowboys would try the Hail Mary route. With 14 seconds, Dak Prescott would have, would have time to throw at least two deep shots into the end zone, quite possibly three. Or maybe the Cowboys would try to hit the home run play in a different manner. Maybe they would attempt to fool the San Francisco defense and catch them out of position by throwing a pass in the middle of the field and then have the receiver lateral to a teammate, the old hook and ladder. But instead of trying to win the game, the Cowboys were caught trying to be sneaky. Sneaky and yet conservative at the same time. Instead of throwing the ball, Dak Prescott took off running. Up the middle. He wasn't going to score a touchdown this way, and he certainly wasn't going to be able to bust through the cavalry of 49er defenders to reach the sideline either. Where was he going? And what was he doing? As we now know, Prescott scrambles upfield and slides down at the 25-yard line. A madhouse ensues. The Cowboys are rushing to get a line properly. It looks as if Prescott will be able to spike the ball with about three or four seconds left, but then an official runs in and resets the ball about two or three feet back, causing everyone in Cowboy Blue to back up a half step. By the time Prescott finally did spike the ball, the clock had expired. The game and the season was over for the Cowboys. If you live in Texas like I do, then you know that Cowboy fans are still talking about this play. And, you know, for good reason. Some people want to blame the coaching staff for even attempting a draw and laying everything on the line for just a chance of one Hail Mary from the 25-yard line. Some people want to blame the umpire for costing the Cowboys time. Some people want to blame Prescott for running too far before sliding. But, in my opinion, who's to blame? You know, that whole end-of-the-game situation reminds me of a play from a Cowboys game in 2002 against St. Louis. The score was tied 10-10. The ball was on the Rams' 35-yard line with 13 seconds remaining. The Cowboys were out of timeouts. Rather than send out Billy Cundiff to attempt a game-winning field goal, Cowboy head coach Dave Campo, known for many questionable coaching decisions during his tenure in Dallas, he opted to try to get a few yards closer. So the world watched in awed amazement as Quincy Carter completed a short dart to Kenyon Rambo, who was immediately tackled in the middle of the field. The ball was spotted as the Cowboys rushed to the line. The ball was snapped, and Carter spiked it. One second remained. Moments later, Cundiff booted the field goal through through the uprights to give the Cowboys a 13-10 victory. That moment from that game of nearly two decades past, you know, it provides the perfect illustration of the importance of practice and attention to detail. Campo said afterwards that the team had practiced practiced for just such a situation, so he wasn't worried about time expiring. He knew the plan would work. He knew that Carter would have enough time to spike the ball before the game clock hit zeros. Ironically, Mike McCarthy said the same exact thing during his post-game press conference. He said that Prescott and the offense went over that very play every Friday in practice. According to McCarthy, Prescott should have been able to spike the ball in 12 seconds. No sweat. But what went wrong? Why did it work out for Campo and not for McCarthy? 
Well, the obvious answer would be, would be the amount of distance covered from the original line of scrimmage. Quincy Carter's pass to Kenyon Rambo was, only, was for only 5 yards. Prescott scrambled about 16 yards. That's one difference. The other difference is the critical difference, and that is related to the pre-snap position of the umpire. Back in 2002, the umpire was situated in the vicinity of the linebackers in the defensive backfield. So, Rambo's catch actually came right next to the umpire. And since Rambo made the catch between the hash marks, the umpire only had to move, what, three or four steps to mark the ball before then getting out of the way so the Cowboys could align and Carter could kill the clock. Everything was perfect. But things are vastly different in 2021. Now, the umpire lines up deep in the offensive backfield. So, in the case of Prescott against the 49ers, the umpire had to run about 25 yards to reach the ball, then pick it up and reset it. Mike McCarthy insisted the Cowboys were prepared for the situation. You know, they practiced the same drill every Friday. But I disagree wholeheartedly. The Cowboys were not prepared. You know, they, they may practice it every Friday, but they don't practice it with an officiating crew in attendance. And that fact was very evident. If, if the Cowboys were truly prepared for that situation, then they would have known that the umpire had to personally spot the ball before Prescott would be allowed to clock it. You know, they, they would have gotten out of his way in order to let the ump do his job. But instead, they got down in their stance, and speaking of the offensive line, the offensive line gets down in their stance, and they got in the way, allowing, what, another one, maybe two seconds to elapse? All those factors that I just mentioned are the difference in four or five seconds. That's the difference in having another chance to win a, win a game and, and being eliminated from the playoffs. Just little things. Attention to detail. 